and so on. Today is Tuesday, May 27, 2008. And it appears to be another seasonal, sunshiny day in paradise. <clears throat> yes, welcome everyone. I'm Sola, and it's good to be here in the beautiful Emerald Isle. I hope you got off the right side of the bed. And for me, every day is a lovely day, even when it rains. Sola, you know me. I don't see the need to put sugar on anything stink. My style is more likely to point out the stink so that everything can be done to make everything all spring clean again. Spring clean? Yes. <laughs> you need to be grateful that we at least got some spring, spring water to drink. Clean spring water. The way things are going at Montserrat is probably the best people like us could hope for. People like us, eh? Don't mind all that. Things have to be better in Montserrat, right? That's what you're trying to tell me, ain't it? See? There you go again. Put your words in my mouth. Everybody feeling the pressure here in Montserrat. Everybody my foot. I would have you know that I am convinced for a select few, Montserrat Irie. I would suggest you hold your breath waiting for the big change that will affect people like us. Seriously, where do you see Montserrat going? No, to be honest, I can't see the downward spiral, but you don't care a it. You know what I see? I see a police force with every national except Montserrat. I could guess they are somewhere. But tell me, where exactly they hide in them? Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> I know that now with you. I know. You want to be marching on? They used to you already? And I'm not about to join you. Me and you in the same boat. If you ask me, Mantra is in a crazy state right now. Yes. Everything and every topic is Topsy-turvy in Montserrat. Mm -hmm. Don't make the mistake of trying to compare the way Montserrat do things to anybody else in the world, Anna. That is so true. Mm -hmm. I am sick and tired of their excuses. As far as I'm concerned, there are no, com there are no excuses. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And, and that stinks. Eh, eh. I see you make it to just one when you're famous. <laughs> Girl, my name's Sola. No? <laughs> I'm here the first, so I hear you, Daddy. Out. I hear you. What are you expecting, much, right? Eh? For goodness sake, our population could fit on the head of a common pin. What else is there to do except make up stupid stories that lack facts or any logic? Talking about that, you know, I heard recently about the Montra cricketers and the Salem cricket field. Will you hear? Because I hear something too. I don't want to know if it's the same thing. Well, I hear about. Mind you, you know how stories go in Montserrat. But the way I heard it, the Montserrat cricketers were practicing on the Salem cricket field. Okay. You know they're still finishing up the big posh one that some politicians keep boasting about in little big soil. Yeah. Anyway, the person who tell me, tell me that some Spanish people show up on the cricket field, the field me mean, to play a game of baseball. What? Baseball! That's a load of stink. Let me tell you. What, but don't want match the cricket pitch? It looks so. Playing baseball is a lot of rooting out. Eh. <laughs> so when the government don't buy them a, uh, give them a piece of land to play the baseball club? Well, they say the Montreal cricketers them tell the foreigners that they can't play on their cricket pitch because they don't want their, ba their baseball messing up the surface on the cricket pitch. Mm. Look at me walk here. This is the Spanish decide that I'm going to play anyway on the field. Yes, daddy. Uh -huh. Yes. The way the person say is that the monstrations tell them if they play any baseball, they're going to be problems. So what do you say? What? <laughs> so what do you say? The uh, play what? Baseball. <laughs> uh, Girl, licks the fly like my master lick by slave. I tell you. Tell you. Girl, I just saw me here you go. You know much right? people take Ooh. plenty. But when enough is enough, they could be a crazy set of people. In fact, as me heard, the cricketer them was well armed. Who didn't have stone? Have buckle. What? Yes. <laughs> and Monster the same. When wind blow, fall back to your show. <laughs> so don't let fall back to your show. 
Oh, you know what comes after? A load of steak. Anyway, to make a long story short, somebody must have called the chief minister. Now, when he shows up, what does he do? People say the chief minister tell the monstrous cryptos to let the foreigners play his part. Yes! It gets sweeter. My people say when the monstrous cryptos hear this, the ones with stones and battle threaten to ban anybody who touch a baseball on their cricket field. Charlie said the chief minister duck and dodge you with TV clan. I say it up to them. Yes, daddy, yes. <laughs> what you say, girl? Sometimes that's what the chief minister. It's not me telling the lies. I just tell you are here. Oh, oh Lord is with me, my mind. <laughs> Listen to me. Chief Minister is a well educated man. And no one will common sense. You tell me you tell me? Cause no, you can't well, actually no, you cannot play baseball on a cricket field. Come on. But you know there has to be some grain of truth to the story when one of the opposition members went on the radio demanding an apology from the chief minister. Mm, yes. So we you apologize? No, not as far as I know. And personally, I think asking for apology was a bit much. Are you? <laughs> Look at the time. You know how it is, eh? The early bird gets the warm and in months, right? There's only one warm for all of us. So, don't worry. We'll all catch up same time next week. Have a good day. And remember, you heard it here. On, on coffee break. break.